and thus Ghana, your beloved country, is free forever. Today, from now on, there is a new African in the world. That new African is ready to fight his own battle and show that after all, the black man is capable of managing his own affairs. We are going to come out to the world, to the other nations, young as we are, that we are to lay our own foundation. As I said in the assembly just three minutes ago, I made it point that we are going to see that we create our own African personality and identity. That we are ready for our own battle. But today, when I call upon you all, and at this great day, let us all remember that nothing in the world can be done unless it has the proportion support of God. We have done the battle, and we again rededicate ourselves not only in the struggle to emancipate all the territories in Africa. Our independence is meaningless unless it is laced up the total liberation of the African continent. I want to thank the valiant ex-servicemen who have so cooperated with me in this mighty task of freeing our country from foreign rule and imperialism. And as I pointed out, at our project conference at Sorbon, I made it quite clear that from now on today, we must change our attitudes, our minds. We must realize that from now on, we are no more a colonial, but a free and independent people. Freedom. 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 I think you'll find, sir, that there will come a time when black people wake up and become intellectually independent enough to think for themselves, as other humans are intellectually independent enough to think for themselves, then the black man will think like a black man, and he will feel for other black people. And this new thinking and feeling will cause black people to stick together. And then at that point, you'll have a situation where when you attack one black man, you are attacking all black men. And this type of black thinking will cause all black people to stick together. And this type of thinking also will bring an end to the brutality inflicted upon black people by white people. And it is the only thing that will bring an end to it. No federal court, state court, or city court will bring an end to it. It's something that the black man has to bring an end to himself. <laughs>